Welcome to the latest thread, Creative Spark. Today, we are going to be looking at and kind of an abstract photo of some, uh, I'm gonna call them orange tubes. And we each have come up with a quilting design based on this photo. So we will start here with um, the first one. Is it? This is, what it looks like. this is what the photo looks like. Mm -hmm. And then we are gonna go to our first quilting design, which is, I guess that would be me. That would be you. <laughs> what a surprise. Unless they change the <laughs> alphabet, it's almost always you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is like a retro kind of image. And I had to think about what to do on that for a while because I thought there was quite a few possibilities. So um, as you can see on the drawing, um, I just wanted to do these long oval shapes and wanted to connect them, overlap them, and then add a circle in the corner to kind of pull it all together. And there it is quilted. Like and you kind of still see the effect of what I drew it, it kind of worked out okay. Again, these are supposed to be our interpretations. So, you know, I think as long as you kind of make it look that way and can recognize some of the shapes and then just fill in. I did use uh, a additional thread color because I thought, you know, adding the brown thread, dark brown, would just kind of pull it all together. I, I may be hungry, but I see breadsticks and dip. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> I, I like that one, Ava. I really like that one. Well, thank yeah. you. I do too. I think it's very neat. I thought of Tom Depressors. I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, popsicle sticks. That's better, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The, the different color of thread in there adds a little bit more dimension and interest into it for sure. For sure. Okay. The next one is Jody, I believe. Yeah, I'm like, I, I think that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so I I thought I wanted them to come from both sides just to change it up instead of all coming from the same side. And I figured I'd actually stitch some of those lines, which isn't always easy, but, you know, and they're not perfect, but it worked. And then in the background, I initially didn't know what I would do back there, really. And so I just added the lines the other direction, because then you get the good contrast to it. Yeah, very cool. Very nice. It doesn't have to be a fancy fill to get the effect of the mm -hmm. dimension. I think sometimes for me, even the effect that I sometimes can be stronger if you use something plain that's not like for the fill, that's not distracting itself. Mm -hmm. It just is like doing the job of mm -hmm. making it be flat. <laughs> yep. I also like how it's offset, you know, that it's going off the fabric and in the different sizes. Really like that. It's very crisp. It is. It is. I like that a lot. I think it looks really nice. I like how puffy the arcs look. Puffy. It's like there's no puff. <laughs> <laughs> They're flat and less flat. <laughs> no, well, those are pretty far apart. And all the arcs seem to come forward. I like that. Because they're like half inch. That's mm -hmm. pretty oh, okay. Yeah. Next oh, one. That's mine. Because I take the easy, just let's make it continuous and I don't have to use a ruler. <laughs> but that's, I just wanted. The, like the line and that swirl at the end to happen. So that's what we got from that. 
And it's much better when you stitch it. I don't know why when you're drawing it, it it's not the same as when you stitch it. So oh, no, there's no depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, right. It looks much better stitched than just the doodle. Yeah, we can usually quilt better than we can draw. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think too, look how much you see the relief areas actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, which is cool. Yeah. It is. And for an all over, that would be a great all over pattern. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I already started digitizing it. <laughs> <laughs> it could go towards water. It could go towards wood grain. It could, you could mm -hmm. do a lot of things with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. versatile. Oh, this is mine. Yep, yeah, sure enough. So I wanted it to be kind of like a border. I had a hard time with this one. Um, I keep wanting to interpret it being exactly what I see and I need to move away from that. And so I was thinking of the clamshells, um, like the clamshell stencil that we have. And uh, so this is kind of what I came up with. Be a great border. Mm -hmm. nice. mm -hmm. It'd be a great order. I thought about doing a fill on top. I thought, no, I want to leave it like it would be a border. And so I, I that would be a great border. And I'm, yeah. I'm, my brain is like, I have to pebble that to match the other pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> I had smaller circles at first in the in those front vertical ones, but I like. I like the the whimsicalness of the of the bigger circle, so I changed it to be a little bit chubbier. Very cool. Nice. Those are nice. Uh, this is my uh, kind of scribbles here, and you can see I went in a lot of different directions trying to see what would really spark my creativity here and what worked for me, and I drew several different things that. I didn't like, and then ended up with the uh, second one from the top there on the right side mm -hmm. in my, which also I did this as a four patch. And you can see that obviously in that more busy pattern there of the leaves on the purple, you can't necessarily see all the quilting in that as much as you can in the orange, but even in the orange areas, there's still a pattern on that fabric and it's uh -huh. harder to see the actual quilting. So that's always something to keep in mind when you're coming up with quilting designs, how busy is your fabric? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually a great visual because generally we stitch on solid. So it's nice to see the effect on, on the prints um, or tone on and tone on tone fabric because you know, you still see the texture, so. Mm -hmm. But not necessarily all of the quilting. Yeah, and that <clears throat> if you are going to do some custom quilting on those busy fabrics, that sometimes a less is more approach, you know, instead of investing, you know, lots of time into tiny details into the fabrics that are busy, and you're not going to see it. You know, you can adjust your plan. Right. For the busier fabrics. Well, so this one is mine. Um, this is a little um, kind of like a stretched oval that I've done several times in, in some quilts that I've worked on in the past. And this is what the picture reminded me of was just these long stretch rounded rounded ends. And I've done this in, in sashing, in uh, scalloped borders. And so I thought, well, I'll have to challenge myself a little bit to do it in a different way. And so I thought, you know, just some big like, um, I don't even know what you call those, like interlocking Freeform. or nesting wavy Freeform spaces. Wavies. Yeah. yeah, big, long, stretched wavies. And those are fun because you can put all kinds of designs inside those things. And I thought, right. well, I'll just do um, this one. So um, I had a stencil that had this shape in it that wasn't for this at all, but it had the shape in it. So I was able to just use that to mark it out. And then... Um, just plopped my little elongated, whatever you want to call them, my little caterpillars. <laughs> inside. I like it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a cute 
cute way to fill up a fill up a space. That looks cool. Yeah, I think that's that cool. Too. I should use pink thread and it doesn't even show in my picture. <laughs> well, that's a pale <laughs> pink, Sharon. <laughs> it's very pale. It was kind of like um a lavendery pink. Mm -hmm. But I thought it would show better than that, but it didn't. But sometimes it's all about the lighting and the angle. On a reminds me of a, a cell diagram from uh like a biology. Uh, yeah. You want you want to say the word nucleus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like the jelly roll race kind of quilt, you know, that's the ones that have all those just jelly roll fabrics. If you mm -hmm. did that in the up and down instead of across it, it would really add a whole lot of texture and a whole yeah. different look to a jelly roll race quilt. So that would mm -hmm. be really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Cool. And that is all of ours. So that was Jody's picture, right? Was it a yeah. picture picture or was it? No, just a borrowed picture. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not a photo for her. <laughs> hey, so that's all of our creative designs. We would love to see your creative designs too. Mm -hmm. And for our next episode of the latest Thread Creative Spark, we are going to be looking at this photo. Oh, let me get back there. I closed it. And our next drawing for inspiration, our next photo for inspiration. So you can come up with all your designs for this one. And then we will show you ours on the next episode of the latest thread, Creative Spark. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.